VEX Robotics is a growing powerhouse around the world, quickly making a name for itself in the world of robotics competition. It started out as a branch of FIRST Robotics, but quickly went off on its own. VEX is the new player, and they are the fastest growing and largest robotics competition on the planet. Jay County, Indiana is not the largest place on Earth, but it is one of the most well-known, at least in the VEX community. <laughs> Jay County out here has uh, been very successful in the short time they've been doing this and they are ranked uh, very highly in the world. The story of the VEX robotics program at Jay County High School starts with a simple question. Well, it all started, uh, I did in my Eagle Scout project on school property and so I had to come to the school in order to get their permission to do it. Uh, and so I came in and I sat down with Dr. Tim Long and I asked him if it was okay and I actually got his permission and at the end of the meeting he said, do you have any more questions? And of course, uh, I said, why don't we have robotics in Jay County? And he said, you know, I've just been looking and waiting for student interest. He and the school board at that point said, we agree. You know, we want every kid at Jay schools to be a part of robotics. And so as soon as we came back to school, uh, that next term, uh, they started talking and announcing all the new clubs in the school, and it came up, Jay County Robotics meeting in Doug Tipton's room, and so I grabbed all my buddies and we went down, signed up, and completely changed our lives. We helped them start it up, and we got it going. The very first competition we went to, we ended up getting 11th out of about 300 teams, 278, and that was just so much fun. And I went the rest of the year, learned a lot of team building, a lot of Made a lot of friends. It was a lot of fun. I've gone to the VEX Worlds competition three years in a row. Um, it's a lot of work to get there, and it takes a whole season really to do that. It's really interesting because that's where the social aspect really comes out. There are so many complexities to robotics, but each person and the way that their mind works, it's amazing how one person will pick up immediately with the programming and how another person will see, well, maybe the structure could be changed. And how other people could say, well, here's how we need to score, here's how we need to play our game. It's, it's amazing to see where everybody's mind, your train of mind just runs. You have builders, programmers, team, uh, people who just work on team building. You have leaders, um, you have, and then the ideas guys is everyone is there. So these non-traditional students, the students that normally get C's, D's, F's in class, now have an opportunity to learn in a different way and it really is beneficial for a lot of them. We even had uh, a guy who came in who, uh, he was very into drugs and uh, he was a horrendous student and but the second that he started working on robotics it just changed his life a couple weeks after the robotics started he said I'm an AB student now um, I can't do drugs because uh, our coach says that if I do drugs I get kicked off the team that, that first day he just made me feel welcome that, that's what I appreciated the most I mean everyone who was here too in that class that when I came they made me feel welcome they helped me out if I didn't understand something they just easily explained it to me. Mr. Tipton, he gave me a robot. He didn't just give me that robot, he gave me my future. That future in engineering, not some boring book to read. And that is what Jay County High School calls project-based learning. You learn to teach each other what you're doing and you'll remember it longer. You only remember 25% of what's lectured to you. But what exactly is the VEX Robotics Program? And how does it apply to project-based learning? Uh, VEX Robotics was uh, founded uh, as, in a res as a response to uh, the need for a mid-level competition between LEGO League, which is the first competition, and FRC, the first, ro uh, first robotics competition. Uh, the first robotics competition is a large-scale robotics uh, mentoring program, and the robots are very expensive. The program is very expensive. LEGO, uh, not necessarily a middle school, high school tool. It's more for elementary school, and they needed something to transition students from Lego to the big robots. Lego robots, a couple pounds. First robot, 120 pounds. 
They needed something in the middle that could make that transition easily that was cost effective. Robotics is a great way to engage non-traditional students. Students that don't do well in normal classroom environments where they have to learn everything out of a textbook and tests. It gives them a, an opportunity to get their hands dirty and allows them to problem solve and which really problem solving is the way that all education should go. Everybody needs those skills. Um, it gives them a chance to, to see it work or see it fail and try to fix it and it just gets them familiar with tools that they may need to use. I mean, how many people really are able to work on cars anymore because they don't know how to, what tool does what? But you don't have to be looking for a future in robotics or engineering to be part of the team. So I really don't have an interest necessarily in robotics going forward, but I do see myself entering the technology field. Um, I plan on becoming a teacher of science or technology. It just gets you prepared working with teams and figuring out ideas of ways to solve problems. I started in robotics as a student in 2003. After I graduated high school, I went to college for technology education. And when I was there, I mentored a team. So now I kind of made the switch from student to mentor. No matter what students choose to do once they get into college, the goal is always the same. This is the Jay County Robotics family. Uh, you know, and we work together, we argue every now and then, you know, but, but that's part of life, you know, and, and I want these kids to know that they're part of a family. Whenever we build and we work together, uh, we breathe life into the impossible. It's what we do. If you tell us we can't do it, it only makes us want to do it more. We're not just making engineers, we're making good people, and eventually some of these kids may just end up working in, say, a factory setting, or they may go on be an engineer, they may be a teacher, they may be a business person. We're not just making engineers, we're making great people here in Jay County.